is all too easy to unwittingly apply the very same logic to our learning journeys that created the very challenges we are trying to move beyond. In our desire to get on with making Teal our new reality, we default to looking for tools, frames of reference, methods and structures outside of ourselves, cultural values, mission statements, decision-making protocols, etc. While these types of things have their place, there is often an overly eager tendency to find solutions to our problems out there so we can fix them with the right toolkit. This is part of the inherent problem in our current paradigm. Welcome to Pure Element 5. My name's Suzanne and today's epiphany came from realizing that Teal is a holistic worldview, not simply a set of concepts, principles and practices. Extraordinary things begin to happen when we dare to bring our whole selves to work. We have an unbalanced focus on the outer at the expense of the inner. We show up with this impoverished inner while attempting to make hip and cool outer initiatives work well in the midst of daily stresses and demands. The business world is littered with examples of wounded organizational cultures that have embarked on painful unbalanced paths of transformation. It is time to realize the learning from this. By the end of this video, you'll learn three principles of TEAL. An organization cannot evolve beyond its leadership's stage of development. This is where we need to build in organizational and cultural structure, as well as nurture conscious leadership. of Teal can act as guidance for us as we learn to transform ourselves and our organizations amid these choppy VUCA waters. Evolutionary Purpose Teal organizations base their strategies on what they sense the world is asking from them. Agile practices that sense and respond replace the machinery of plans, budgets, targets, and incentives. Paradoxically, by focusing less on the bottom line and shareholder value, they generate financial results that outpace those of their competitors. What is our purpose at personal and organizational levels, and how do we best allow this sense of purpose to deepen and evolve as our context and learning journey inevitably deepens and evolves. Authenticity and wholeness. Teal organizations invite people to reclaim their inner wholeness. They create an environment where people feel free to fully express themselves, bringing unprecedented levels of energy, passion, and creativity to work. Everyone is encouraged to show their complete personality, including quirks, dreams, emotional, and spiritual facets. The more life you bring into the company, the more life the company has. An enormous amount of energy and creativity is set free when we can simply be ourselves. How do we create the conditions, both inside ourselves and within our organizations, for a deeper quality of authenticity and wholeness to emerge within us and through our relationships with others? Self-management Teal organizations operate effectively even at scale with a system based on peer relationships. They set up structures and practices in which people have high autonomy in their domain and are accountable for coordinating with others. Power and control are widely distributed throughout the organization and no longer tied to the specific positions of a few top leaders. 
How do we best embody these self-organizing methods within ourselves while deepening our personal responsibility, sense of purpose, and wholeness? How do we bring this into our interpersonal relationships and team dynamics during day-to-day -day tensions and emotionally charged situations? If you thought this was pure engagement, please give us a thumbs up. And if you thought it was pure poo, feel free to give us a thumbs down. It helps us create the content you want to see. The links are down below if you want to catch us on other mediums, along with a link to our website so you can download our free ebook. Until we meet again, the essence of who you truly are is pure love. Go out and connect with someone and show them the love.